Hi fans of high quality entertainment. There's nothing over there. What are you looking at? Hello? Well, I don't know where they come from, but they sure do come. I hope they're coming for me. I don't know how they do it, but they sure do it good I hope they're doing it for me They give me cat Scratch fever ba -ba -boom -ba -boom. They give me Cat scratch fever Hi there. Welcome to my top 10 Ted Nugget songs. Now, first of all, let me say I am not a fan of Ted Nugent, his personality, his some of his uh, politics, or most of his politics. But I have to admit, in the 70s, and with the Amboy Dukes, he rocked. And I love his music from a certain point in the 70s. And uh, so here's my top 10 list. I bought Ted Nugent albums from uh, Free For All, Cat Scratch Fever, and then that was really the last good one. Then the next one was Weekend Warriors with the cartoonish cover and just even seeing the cartoonish cover it was like, oh, oh I think he's going in the wrong, wrong direction here. And the the record itself was just just not like the previous albums. So this is early Ted Nugent when he was gooder. <clears throat> and I would love your thoughts on your favorite Ted Nugent songs in the comment section below. Or if you don't like Ted Nugent, just write something like, I don't like Ted Nugent. And I don't like your singing. Now, number 10, uh, I just recently bought his uh, double CD with all of his best songs. And this song, uh, this is when he, he started to get really over the top. I mean, Ted Nugent's always been over the top, but this was really over the top and stupid and annoying. But, but when I bought this CD and just blasted it in my car, all my favorite songs, and this came on, it's like, you know what? It's kind of catchy. I love the riff at the beginning. And the first two or three minutes are actually pretty damn good. And it's just when he gets into his uh, babble, I guess you call it, and he just goes on and on and on forever. It gets really ridiculous and it's a big turnoff. But that being said, number 10 is Wango Tango. Number 9, Snakeskin Cowboy. Number eight, dog eat dog. Number seven, just what the doctor ordered. Number six, which I believe would be up further in the list for most uh, fans of Ted Nugent. And it is an excellent, this is the really good stuff. The, these top six are some of my all-time favorite rock songs. Number six is Stranglehold. Uh, awesome. And that's the other thing, Ted Nugent, I'm sorry to admit, is an awesome guitarist. Number five, which is probably most people's number one because it was such a big hit, so popular, Cat Scratch Fever. Number four, I love the intro to this and, and I love the whole song, Free For All. Now, number three, I'm kind of cheating a bit because this isn't necessarily Ted Nugent by himself. It's 
when he was in his previous band, the Amboy Dukes. But this song is so damn good, I just had to put it in the list. Journey to the Center of the Mind. Awesome guitar work by, by Ted Nugent. Now, number two and number one, they're kind of interchangeable because even number two could be number one. But I love these. Number two, Wang Dang Sweet Poon Tang with the immortal lines, she's so sweet when she yanked on my meat. And number one, one of my all-time favorite rock songs, and I just blast this when, when I, anytime I play it. I love the energy, <clears throat> the energy in it, the guitar work, Ted Nugent's vocals, everything about it. Motor City Madhouse. So that's it. Uh, I would love your thoughts on Ted Nugget in the comment section below. I don't know why I did that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Below.